Okay guys, good morning and welcome to another vlog. We are up very early this morning. It is currently 6.51. Woke up at 6 a.m. to get ready to get Joel and Francis out of bed because they slept in like little babies. We had four hours sleep and we're going now in the fog to a hotel called Trang Shangri-La. Hopefully to get some sick fog sunrise photos the sun rises at 7 a.m and it's currently 6 51 so it's going to be very tight as always but hopefully it's sick so let's go okay guys so we're in the elevator going to floor 42 we don't know if we're going to see it but fingers crossed if we do, maybe this. Very, very successful sunrise mission complete. It is now 9 a.m. We literally got three hours sleep, so we're going back to bed till 12, and then I'll catch up with you then, and we'll start the rest of this vlog. So hopefully you enjoyed that sunrise footage. It was incredibly worth it, and I highly recommend going to the Shangri-La Shangri <laughs> Shangri Hotel for sunrise if you get the chance, and if there's fog, even better. Good afternoon everyone. It is now one o'clock here in Dubai. Just had like a three hour nap. So still only had six hours sleep in total, but we're active now and we're up and we're about. We have another adventure to go on this afternoon, which will be absolutely sick. A desert safari and some old school land rovers, but I'm not gonna tell you anymore because you'll see that when we get there. Just ordered some lunch. I've recently been trying to budget here in Dubai because the first couple of weeks I spent so much money on food. It's actually ridiculous. So. If you are gonna be in Dubai for a prolonged period of time, I recommend setting a budget and kind of ordering the best value meals on delivery or of course cooking. I'm just not a good cook. So this is my Mexican burrito bowl. I'll take you through it. We have a crap load of chicken in there, beans, tomato salsa, guacamole, and I literally split this in half. I have this half for lunch and this half for dinner. And that is a muscle building meal in itself. Okay guys, so it is 4.25 p.m., 28 degrees in the middle of the desert, and right now we're about to do a Platinum Heritage old school Land Rover tour in the dunes. Private dunes, not like anything we've done before, so it should be absolutely sick. If you guys are coming along for the ride, I'm gonna make some sick visuals with Joel and Francis, so enjoy. I'll show it to you. Here you go. Oh, nice. With <laughs> ice cold water in. Yes. Right, everyone, say hello to Samir. He's going to be our guide today. Hi there. <laughs> what's, up, what's up first on the list? So, first of all, we're going to go to our Land Rover to put the scarves on. Nice. So, we're going to make you Emiratis. Nice. This is our vehicle, Samir. Yes, this is our car. This is nice. Definitely the best one. You like it? Yeah. Nice. Very nice. This is actually 1948. You can see the difference here. If this is flat, that means oh. it's a 1948. Yeah, that one's rounded. If it is this one, it's bumpy a little bit. This is 1950. That's Siri 2, and that's a Siri 1. Wow. Ah. <laughs> so, this is the oldest. Original. That's the original one, yeah. 1948. Yeah, that's made in 1947 by Maurice Wilkes in England. It's a little bit more complicated than tying a tie. It is. <laughs> you need to get used to it with yeah. the time. That's amazing. It's good. You look great. <laughs> <laughs> I have my khutra on. Uh, thank you. Please <laughs> don't at me for butchering that. So this we call it Shayla. Like a name of a woman. If it does help you to remember the name, we call it Shayla. Shayla? Shayla. You like it? Still, we're not finished yet. And now this one can help you as well if there's any sandstorm. Oh, let's see. Or a heat that will protect you as well, and you can use and it as a face mask. mask. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Thank you so much. My pleasure. Feels good. It's amazing. Mm -hmm.
can see I have a magnet here. If I put the magnet on the sand, I should have some iron, which is magnesium, which is the first reason why the desert heats up very quickly and cools down at night. Right wow. in here, you get to see that I just got some iron from the sand. You can give me your hand. Here we go. What? Ooh. Yep. Is all of the desert covered in that or just certain parts? Absolutely, especially if you... Those dunes, we call them the red dunes. That's the first reason why you can see there's a lot of red, because there's so much iron on it. If you go to the coastline, mm -hmm. what color does the sand has? More, Ooh, more white. white. Exactly. Shells? Which is more, which oh. is less uh, iron on it, because oh, yeah, of the salt yeah. water affecting the iron. So there's less oh, yeah. iron yeah, on the coastline. hug one and take a selfie with a camel. Oh. <laughs> They're very gentle. They like to be touched. They're different characters. Some of them they like to be touched. Some of them they don't. But this one is like that's why he's the first in line. He's very gentle, very behaving. They, they do remember names and they do remember the person that owns them as well. Really? Yep. Yeah. And even if you do good to the camel, he will behave good to you. Oh he's so nice. Yeah. He's so affectionate. Absolutely. Well, he really gets, he really goes vertical. And you, sir? Oh. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! How high is it? Low petrol. Whoa! Bye, Samia. Interesting fact of the day, we're actually up two meters high right now. Camels have nice long legs, so that when they're in the desert and the sand's very hot, they're a good distance away from the, the warm desert sand, so it keeps them nice and cool being up high. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Really good. How was that? Yes, yeah, so safe. Wow. Camels are so nice. Yeah, they are. Thank you so much. Insane. So right here, what the gentleman is doing is preparing the bread. Actually, not any bread. So this bread is called rugag. Rugag is an Arabic name which means thin, raqiq. The reason why he's making it thin is to store it longer. Because when it's thin, you can store it much longer. Actually, this bread you can store it for 45 days. And this is where the Bedouin, they want, when they travel, they like something to store for more longer time. So when they travel for two, three months, they can take this bread while they travel. Nice. <laughs> So we're sitting down to have a traditional Arabic meal right now. We've got hummus, we've got meatballs, we've got cheese pastries, we've got traditional Arabic salad, and we've got nice fresh bread, as well as camel milk, watermelon juice, and water. The best hummus I've had in Dubai yet. Unbelievable. 
Okay, so we've got yogurt, we've got traditional Arabic spices, kind of like a salsa, vegetable curry with rice, nuts, chicken kebab, and some lamb. Yum dill. Can't wait, I'm so hungry. Oh, yeah. Yes.